Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. In this part of mineral nutrition, we are going to discuss the role played by or the role of uh, the mineral nutrients such as copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, zinc, and their deficiencies and toxicity symptoms. Let us see one by one. First one is copper. The element copper is very much important or it is very much needed for the chlorophyll production, respiration and protein synthesis. So copper is needed for chlorophyll production, respiration, protein synthesis. That is in detail, copper is an essential component uh, for a number of important enzymes including the cytochrome oxidase, ascorbic acid, oxidase and lacase. That is, uh, copper is an essential constituent for the uh, enzymes such as uh, cytochrome oxidase, ascorbic acid ox oxidase and lacquers which is in turn important for the chlorophyll production, protein synthesis and respiration etc. And also the deficiency of this copper that the plant displays delayed growth or stunted growth, delayed maturity, then a lodging and in some cases a brown discoloration is also a part of this copper uh, deficiency. And also the copper deficient plants are very much prone to uh, increased disease, uh, especially the ergot disease in case of wheat. If that plant is deficient in copper, it will be prone to ergot disease. Then that is the plant will uh, the plant growth will be slow and some plants may be it may show some stunted and uh, uh, dissociation of the young leaves and a death of the grow growing point these are all the uh, deficiency symptoms of uh, copper and coming to the toxicity if that element is in excess copper uh, excess excessivity will uh, induce iron deficiency that may be that may also induce very slow growth and the roots may be started this is about the uh, mineral copper now coming to iron iron plays an important role in plant respiratory and photosynthetic reactions iron plays an important role in photosynthetic and respiratory reactions that is it is an essential component of uh, many hem and non hem iron enzymes and uh, it, it includes that is it is including the cytochromes that is the respiratory electron carriers that is why it is a uh, iron is very much need, needed for the respiration process and the pyridoxins uh, and later it is involved in metabolic functions such as it is also involved in metabolic functions such as nitrogen fixation, photosynthesis and electron transfer. So iron plays an important role um, for respiration, photosynthesis, nitrogen fixation, electron transfer etc. And the deficiency of the iron will reduce the chlorophyll. Uh, chlorophyll production will be reduced with this iron deficiency. Then it will show a sharp distinction between veins and chlorotic areas in young leaves. The deficiency will be, uh, we can visualize the deficiency in the young leaves. Rather than in older leaves, it can be shown in young leaves as this iron is an immobile element. Then the, as the deficiency develops, the entire leaf becomes whitish yellow and progresses to necrosis. First the leaf will show yellow, yellow is, uh, whitish yellow, yellowish in nature and then it will uh, show the necrosis and the plant growth will be very slow. Then iron deficient field, if we view the uh, plot or the field of an iron deficient plant, uh, the deficient field exhibit irregularly shaped yellow areas especially where the subsoil is exposed to the surface. It is a characteristic uh, visualistic symptom of iron deficiency uh, fields. So the iron deficiency will cause intravenous chlorosis which will occur on the young leaves with eventual bleaching of the new growth. Then when severe the entire plant may be light green in color. 
and in case of iron toxicity that is in excess bronzing of the leaves with tiny brown spots on the leaves that is a typical symptom which can be seen in rice this is about iron, the role of iron its deficiency and toxicity next one is manganese manganese uh, the role of manganese it's manganese is that uh, the most sensitive cell organelle in plant which is uh, which is affected by the manganese deficiency or sensitive to the manganese deficiency is the chloroplast this is chloroplast it is the plant organelle where the photosynthesis occurs and that cell organelle is more sensitive to the manganese deficiency so with the manganese deficiency the plant will show interviral chlorosis in young leaves unlike with iron deficiency there is no sharp distinction between veins and intervenal areas in case of iron deficiency also interviral chlorosis is seen in young plants but in case of iron there is a sharp distinction or a uh, there is a sharp distinction between veins and intervenal areas that is not seen in case of manganese deficiency that is the deficiency it will cause intervenal chlorosis of young leaves while the leaves and plants remain green in color when severe the plants will be stunted and coming to the uh, toxicity in excess the older leaves will show brown spots surrounded by a chlorotic zone and circle so the role of manganese due to the deficiency of mag uh, manganese the more sensitive cell organelle is the chloroplast and also the manganese involved in the oxygen involving system of photosynthesis and is the component of the enzyme arginase and phototransferases and this is about manganese then coming to molybdenum molybdenum it is required for the normal assimilation of nitrogen in plants and is an essential component of nitrate reductase as well as nitrogenase molybdenum is required for the normal assimilation of nitrogen in plants and it is an essential component of nitrate reductase and nitrogenase enzyme so then coming to the deficiency of uh, molybdenum molybdenum uh, deficiency symptoms is often resembles the nitrogen deficiency symptoms so the plants will show a stunted growth and chlorosis and then other symptoms include pale leaves that may be scorched cupped or rolled and leaves may also appear thick or brittle and it will eventually wither leaving only the midrib this is a particular symptom of molybdenum deficiency that is the symptoms will frequently appear similar to nitrogen deficiency older and middle leaves become chlorotic first and in some instance leaf margins are rolled and growth and flower formation are also restricted and the molybdenum toxicity is not a common uh, occurrence then the role of molybdenum molybdenum is needed for enzyme activity in plant and for nitrogen fixation in legumes that it is a component of nitrogenase and nitroreductase enzymes uh, next one is zinc zinc is needed by the plants for growth hormone production and it is particularly important for internal elongation it is important for growth hormone production and internal elongation that is it is an essential component of several dehydrogenases and peptidases including carbonic anhydrase alcohol dehydrogenase glutamic dehydrogenase and malic dehydrogenase and so zinc is an important uh, zinc plays an important role or it is needed for the hormone production and it is particularly important for the internodal elongation and the element zinc has an intermediate mobility in plants so the symptoms will initially show up in the middle leaves due to the, its intermediate mobility the symptoms will be uh, seen in the middle leaves then coming to the deficiency the zinc deficit leaves display intervenal chlorosis especially the midway between the margin and midrib 
and producing a stripping effect. So the deficiency the upper leaves will show inter, uh, inter, uh, the upper or the middle leaves will show uh, intervenal chlorosis with an eventually uh, with whiting of the affected areas and leaf may be small and distorted with a recessive form. The chlorotic areas will also be developed that can be pale green, yellow or even white in color. And in case of severe zinc deficiency, it causes the leaves to turn gray, white and fall prematurely or die. And because the zinc plays an important role in internode elongation, zinc deficient plants generally exhibit severe stunting that it is, it, it will show the rosette appearance. And also the flowering and the seed set will be poorly affected in that deficient plants. And toxicity, if there is a zinc toxicity, it will develop a iron deficiency. Now we can have a quick glance on the deficiency symptoms shown by different essential elements. Let's have a look on... Um, if the deficiency symptom is visible in older leaves, that symptoms may be due to the deficiency of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium or molybdenum. Since these minerals are mobile in nature, the deficiency will appear in the older leaves. And in case of sulfur, iron, manganese and copper, these are immobile in nature and the deficiency will occur in the new leaves. Sorry, and um, the, it, the, we already discussed that uh, the deficiency symptoms of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, manganese, and molybdenum will occur in the older leaves. If it is accompanied by dead spots, that symptoms will be caused by potassium and molybdenum. The symptom, deficiency symptoms visible in older leaves along with the dead spots, it is a a particular uh, symptom caused by potassium and molybdenum. If it is not accompanied by dead spots, there is no dead spots, that, that, then that symptoms is due to the deficiency of uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and magnesium. And in case of magnesium, there will be green veins. That is, intravenal chlorosis will be there. The veins will be green and the space between the veins will show uh, yellowing and in case of nitrogen the veins will be yellow in color and the space in between the veins will be green in color this is the uh, how, this is how we differentiate the symptoms of different elements and if the symptoms is seen in particularly new leaves because of this immobile elements and um, that is, the symptoms will be due to the deficiency of sulfur, either sulfur, iron, manganese or copper. And if that symptom is uh, seen in the, with a green veins, that is in, with intervenal chlorosis, then that symptom is uh, because of iron and manganese. And if it is with yellow veins, it will be due to sulfur and copper. As we already said that zinc it will it is very much needed for it is an intermediate mobile element and it is needed for the internodal elongation and all if uh, so the deficiency symptoms of this sink will be shown in all the new leaves that is it may be in the middle section the de deficiency symptoms will will appear on the middle section usually because of the intermediate mobility nature of this sink and in case of calcium and boron, the deficiency symptoms will be particularly, we can easily differentiate with the terminal but deficiency symptoms. That is, uh, uh, underdeveloped terminal buds, it is a very a common symptom of calcium and boron. And with this video, we are winding the session mineral nutrition. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share this with your friends, subscribe our channel and thank you for listening.